being a racing driver is not all about just racing a car. You need to have some engineering knowledge as well. And one of the exponents of engineering knowledge that I'd like to think is pretty bloody good at it is this guy here. His name is Paul Stokel, and he's known for driving little-known cars such as a Lamborghini Diablo. Paul, driving a Mini, what's it like compared to a Lamborghini? Chalk and cheese, really. But, um, look, every, every car's basically the same. You know, you've got to try and tune it to handle the circumstances that you've got on the, on the day. So, you know, these cars give us a fair amount of tuning variables, the same as what the Lambo did, and I guess in, the, in some respects the same as what V8 supercars do. So we've only got limited amounts we can play with. We've got shock absorbers, which are adjustable in bump and rebound. We've got, um, obviously, different cambers and casters and toes and ride heights and things like that. So within those parameters, we've just got to make this do the same as what we would any other car. So it's probably not, a, not as pure bred as a race car as what maybe the Lamborghini is, and that probably had a little bit more adjustability in it, but um, the same token, it's a, a lot of fun and you know, to get the most out of it, it's like anything else, it's a challenge. And Minis do have a long history of racing here in Australia, it's nice to see the Minis back out on a, a racing circuit and especially being part of the, uh, the first time here this weekend at Eastern Creek, what's it like for yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's good to be part of it, you know, I, I look forward to driving the cars this year We've, and, um, you know, so far it's, it's led up to our expectations, the cars are close, they're competitive and, you know, as you say, they've got a big racing history in Australia and they, you know, have won Bathurst, so they're, they're cars that have a lot of heritage and a lot of, a lot of cult following in a lot of ways, you know, I think there's a lot of people around that are mini fanatics and, you know, it's going to add another dimension to the racing out here and I think the spectators are, there'll be a lot of people here just to see the minis and I think, you know, we're going to put on some great racing and it's going to be very close because there's just nothing that you can change in the car. So we've all got the same thing and um, the racing's going to come down to a couple of drivers that want to argue over a bit of territory and, you know, it should be a bit of fun. For yourself, you've driven a fairly diverse field of cars. Uh, the Mini pumps out around 154 kilowatts. It's a 1.6 litre engine. Compared to something, again, to use a Diablo, uh, obviously power to weight's a, a bit of a consideration, but just the sheer outright driving experiences, how does it feel for you as a, an engineering person? Yeah, I guess, it, as I said, it's a compromise. It's, it always is when you've got a, a car with a roof on it that's designed as a road car. You can't, you can't ever, as a driver, get what you want out of it. You know, I've probably grown up, you know, before racing for Lamborghini in various categories. I, I drove open wheelers, and those kind of cars are always capable of more than what you are. Whereas these, you sort of jump in as, as an experienced driver, I guess, um, and you've got the opportunity to, to drive as hard as you can, but you've got to hold back a little bit because the cars just won't do what you want them to. So you've, you've got limitations, and all you can do is tune the cars around that and, and work on it, and uh, at the end of the day, whoever does that, you know, it might only be one-tenth of a second better, but that's going to make a difference. For yourself, you also do driver training for a number of groups. Do you ever find yourself, ever catch yourself, you know, looking at a driver in front of you going, geez, I wish that guy would do something? <laughs> It's amazing. I actually just started starting my own business next week called um, Stokel Motorsport Pure Speed Track Days and I get a lot of people along that just own exotic cars, maybe Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis and they come along and you know, and maybe even some of them in race cars and they spend a fortune on new brakes and new tyres and everything else and at the end of the day they could probably go two seconds like faster, they just did a bit of driver training and I, a lot of people do very quickly realise that, whoa, you know, sit beside you and watch you do a lap and go, man I've got a long way to go, haven't I? I go, yeah, but I've been doing this since I was seven, you know, so work up to it and you've got the guidance of you know people like me and other driver trainers that I use that can help them so you know I think it's, a, it's something that probably even in this category there'll be drivers that'll probably want to do that sort of thing and you know I encourage it you know if we had all, all 15 20 cars on the or 25 cars on the grid and we're covered by less than a second awesome fantastic racing yeah certainly shaping up to be a pretty awe-inspiring series Paul Stokel part of history this year thanks very much for your time not a problem I'm enjoying it